I cannot say that I was not scared. No one knows what's going on, no one knows how lethal this virus is. We must just overcome that anxiety, that fear, and did the job. I'm working in here in Kuma Hospital as an accident emergency department doctor. I've been working here for just two and a half years, so it must be the biggest challenge I face. Right now, everyone coming in, they're just afraid of the virus. Um, for those who have travel history or close contact with confirmed case or other suspicious features, they, are, they can be very, very scared. Some of them can be really anxious. They just keep coming back. So we just repeat the test. Most of them get a negative result. We have been seeing confirmed case every day. Because the isolation wards are more or less packed, we need to convert the emergency medicine ward to sort of surveillance ward for that particular infectious disease. Because we might not even know that they have the virus before the test. There must be a chance of getting infected, but um, as long as we do not have a protracted contact with the patient, we are using surgical masks, we are not doing any high-risk procedure, the risk of transmission is low. It was early on in the outbreak, um, the patient has not been diagnosed yet. Um, the patient is having fever and shortness of breath. She deteriorated very quickly. So um, we need to proceed to intubation. That was the first time that I did intubation with a patient with fever after the outbreak. Because those procedures would generate more droplet or what we call aerosol, which can suspend in the air, which can get into your mucosa more easily. Again, what, we, what I can do is to get all the protective equipment, go in, did the job, and came back out. The absolute number of patients has been decreased. They are so scared to come here. They don't want to come here anymore. For this virus, it's both contagious and potentially lethal. So um, we might have some second thoughts before we go in to see a patient, before we do certain procedure, and also extra precaution. But again, we still need to do it. There are risks, and for colleagues, Having symptoms of like cough, running nose, they're very, very scared. Fortunately, here we get a very supportive team. We don't have particular colleagues who are just shy from seeing confirmed case or suspicious case. This builds a team spirit. All we can do is to concentrate on the personal hygiene and hope for the best. My family was worried initially, but the, the outbreak has been here for two months or so. So um, they're more or less accustomed. So far, it's still acceptable. We just get one or two infected healthcare workers compared to other countries or regions. So we are doing okay. My message to Hong Kong people is that we will get through this as long as we are doing our best to control the outbreak so that we do not repeat the history of other countries or other regions like Italy.